He has approved plans for sidewalk and patio seating beginning on March 22nd. That's a week and a half sooner than planned. The mayor cited the nice weather. And as Tiffany Chan reports, restaurants are eager to open these spaces that help them survive the pandemic. With more people being vaccinated and the temperatures warming up, this is really a sign of hope for bars and restaurants, many that have been shuttered for nearly a year. The taps are flowing again at the greatest bar in Boston, steps from TD Garden. Try to get our uh, feet wet and try to get things operational again after a year. Their book solid on opening night. Owner Billy Fairweather says he feels lucky to welcome patrons back since the pandemic hit when so many sports bars didn't survive. We would not be even attempting to reopen if, if there weren't going to be fans coming back to the garden. A half mile away in Boston's North End, restaurant owners are eagerly waiting for March 22nd to arrive. We see the light at the end of the tunnel. The same day fans can return to sports venues, outdoor dining in Boston is set to make a comeback earlier than expected. Frank Di Pasquale owns seven restaurants along Hanover Street. It's gigantic for us. We know from just from the feel of having this great weather for the last two days that that great things are coming our way. Despite warnings from the CDC that expanding capacity limits could lead to a spike in coronavirus cases, restaurant owners say with the vaccine, they're hopeful better days are ahead. Just reopening is not going to be enough. I mean, we're going to need more fans in the area. We're going to need more people in the area. It gets people excited as we, we fought through this pandemic and now it's time to turn uh, the tide here. The city of Boston allowing outdoor seating on city streets and sidewalks until December 1st. From Boston, I'm Tiffany Chan for WBZ News.